Hi everyone, in this uh, particular video we will be looking into how to uh, forcefully lock 5G or 4G bands, uh, frequency bands in an in a Android device. Uh, so basically uh, our device is connects to the cell tower on a particular frequency uh, and that is different in case of uh, uh, different technologies like uh, <clears throat> 2G and 3G and 4G and 5G technologies are all different. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see how to make our Android devices connect to a specific uh, frequency on a uh, with a cell tower. Uh, <clears throat> and one more thing I want to showcase is this uh, SCRCPY tool. This is useful for uh, controlling your Android device from your PC. It is available for uh, Unix, Windows and uh, Mac as well. Yeah, so same Linux version will work on Mac. And it, it requires ADB. So it, uh, it works with ADB. So first thing uh, you, you need to do is you need to enable ADB on your device and then you need to install ADB CLI on your uh, uh, computer as well. So uh, for that you can follow this article from XDA. I will uh, include this link in the description. Uh, then you need to in uh, download this if you are using Windows like uh, me. So you need to download this Win64 bit version of the zip file of this tool from the releases page and uh, then you need to extract this so I have already done that so it will be so this folder will uh, after extracting the folder will contain these files the next thing is you need to open CMD move to this directory where adb or this particular scrcpy.exe is there so in my case it is in c platform folder and scrcpy uh, folder then we need to make sure that our device is connected via adb and you can see my device is connected so I have uh, I'm using USB debugging <clears throat> you can also use wireless USB debugging uh, but for that you, your Android and your uh, PC should be on same Wi-Fi network then you just need to run this scrcpy.exe and a, uh, your Android will pop up just like this okay so this is uh, my mobile phone which I am controlling from my PC so now if I sh uh, so so the prerequisite for uh, locking the 4G or 5G bands is you need to have root access uh, so I have already uh, installed Magisk for that. So Magisk, Magisk is a, uh, if you guys don't know, Magisk is a uh, root access manager for Android. Earlier we used to use Super SU, but with the latest version of Android, uh, we are using Magisk. <coughs> because it uh, Magisk is installed in boot, boot partition, which is still uh, modifiable other partitions are uh, not modifiable in the latest version of Androids. Uh, yeah, so for for locking 5G or 4G bands you need to install this network signal guru application as well and that will be available on the play store network signal guru so I have already installed this <coughs> then 
you just need to click on this it will ask for uh, location permission you need to provide this and you also need to provide the uh, your mobile phone permission because it, it requires uh, your uh, signal and IMA and everything then it will ask for root permissions this you can choose forever or for 10 minutes or once and it requires internet access as well for the first time and my internet doesn't seem to work okay yeah so after giving the necessary permissions your uh, this network signal guru will start showing the metrics for the network you can see uh, different metrics for the current cell tower and uh, frequency range and rss id different types of things are visible so currently uh, my device is using band 1 that is 21 her 2100 megahertz uh, so now let's say I want to use a particular I want to connect on a particular frequency to the cell tower so what you can do is you need to click on this options on the top right then go to forcing control choose here uh, let's say i want to connect to band 5 that is 850 megahertz unselect all of the others keep this uh, band 5 850 megahertz selected and then press ok now my mobile phone is connecting to the cell tower on that particular frequency uh, and you can see here uh, if you see band currently yeah so band 5 is being used so basically now my mobile phone uh, my mobile phone is connecting to the cell tower on 850 megahertz frequency uh, yeah so uh, yeah that's it for this demonstration this is useful uh, when you want to force your mobile phone to connect to a particular band uh, th this this can be useful uh, when your mobile is frequently switching to uh, different bands and uh, which, which is which might be causing uh, interruptions within your internet connection uh, i have faced this because uh, uh, in where where i am right now uh, here network is not stable for 5g if uh, so if i show you let's see this currently i am using band 850 uh, the range of this band is maximum so that's why you are seeing full signal here if i change this to 2 band 40 that is 2300 megahertz signal will be very less you can see now signal has dropped to a much lower rss rss ids for 2300 so it is uh, 
varied as well because uh, frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, not much nonsense. That's it for this uh, demonstration. Hope you guys like it. Thank you.